scanning in Mr. Grumpy Pan. Searching for base Tish B. Oh, hey. Base Tish B here for 64K. I'm trying to be quiet. The fanboys are hunting me again. If you try, I try to go to the Vancouver Comic and Toy Show. This is the latest one, by the way. The fanboys come out and they try to stop me from buying their merch. Anyway, they've tried to stop me from getting to the show twice before. Once they just tried to ram me off the road, like freaking Mad Max maniac. Come away, fool! But I got it sorted. And then the other time, I tried to do a roadblock, but I just turbo boosted over that sucker. He is located in Green Hill Zone. Confirm Phase 2. Oh, I see my car up ahead. Wish me luck. Here it goes. Oh no. What's that? Location confirmed. Phase 2 confirmed. Airstrike that bastard. You've got to be kidding me. You're going to try to airstrike me. So yeah, I managed to survive that massive explosion with a well-timed ninja roll. That's what happens when you watch Enter the Ninja 7,000 times as a kid. So yeah, the fanboys blew up my car, so it's taken about three and a half hours to get ya, but I'm finally here at the Vancouver Comic and Toy Show. This is the June edition, so let's see what they have. What? God, these signs outside are so misleading. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm here for. Okay, we finally started to move, heading into hall number one, which is my favorite. We're gonna get a lay of the land in each hall quickly, and then I'll just start going around randomly. This guy's got tons of cool retro stuff, including a Starskin Hutch remote control, and this Charlie's Angels Bobby Mobile. You have some Cloud City Fighters from Empire Strikes Back. What, what, what? Mr. T, I love that guy. No, I don't hate that boy, but I pity the fool. Okay, this guy had a really varied selection. His prices were mostly pretty decent. Couple overpriced, but overall I think it was quite good. Nice variety. And this is hall number two. Well, I call it hall number two. It's the biggest one. I'm gonna jump around here a little bit. And yeah, Ecto-1. Ooh, what is this? Stranger Things Ego card game. What the heck? Well, you know, Eleven really loves those egos. Yep, she loves them. Yeah, this guy is still trying to pimp Scrooge McDuck. Oh, what if... Ooh, Barbarella. I should have got that. Barbarella is a five-star, double-rated Astro Navigatrix Earth Girl, whose specialty is... Love! And some sort of Thanos board game. What is this? Gojira! Kaiju! Okay, we're gonna go check out hole number three. Oh, talking about kaijus, look at these Japanese promo figures, really cool. These figures all belong to Kevin, as do the games. Check out Kevin at Red Eye Games if you want really good deals on retro stuff. This person had some really cool artwork that they had done. They have Scully from the X-Files, and the dude from the Big Lebowski. And what, 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 Golden Girls? Well, thank you, kind sir. <laughs> You'll have to excuse Rose. Every time a man speaks Southern at her, she goes all stupid. 
and these cars they were busy putting together these Gundam and Mac figures and painting them also at the table very nice has a nice little selection of these little vinyl action figures love those Power Ranger ones big fan of the Rangers <laughs> And what the heck do we have here? Die Hard, the coloring book. This guy had cool Transformers figures, but I spotted this down here. This excellent Resident Evil 4 Ada Wong figure. And I decided to pick up Orphan on the PS2. It's an action RPG that I never got a chance to play back in the day. I'm hoping it's going to be pretty good. And what do we have here? Flux Capacitor! Legit version! <laughs> it works! I finally invent something that works! <laughs> yeah, dodgy Cabbage Patch doll up there, the DC Universe represented. And the Smurfs definitely caught my eye. Used to watch this every Saturday morning. I love those guys and their dodgy Gargamel. Ooh, I hate Smurfs! God, he hated Smurfs for some reason. Anyway, some classic comic books. Really cool selection out here. And we got some real old, kind of pulpy novel here. Nick Carter, Gate of Death. Whoa, look at this. Original arcade marquee for eSWAT. Awesome Sega game. This guy had a whole bunch of marquees. Tokyo. Exit X's. Wow, that was excellent. Also decided to pick up Bruce Lee, Quest of the Dragon. <laughs> and I found this good old vinyl box here. I was just going through it. A lot of generic stuff that I've seen a million times. Barry, what? Gah, I can't get away from this dude. What? Maiden? Don't see that every day. Super cool cover. Got a Macho Man mini pillow. And Leprechaun, yeah, yeah. You should have picked door number two, Milan. <laughs> so cheesy. Awesome selection of classic board games. This guy always has cool stuff. Seinfeld, what? We've got the Thunderbird ship there. Love that thing. Massive Sergeant Rock action figure. And this Cobra Condor. God, I wanted that thing as a kid. Look at these original G.I. Joes. These are like super old school. Got the Thing board game, and never knew they made that. Dark Souls board game, what? And time for a little liquid refreshment. Get my energy back before I go into round two. These guys always have an excellent horror selection. Really cool display. Look at these LEDs and VHS tapes. Such a good idea. And oh, look at this little arcade. I found a classic Frogger mini arcade. Very nice. Excellent posters here. Super Fuzz. Love that movie. Got some more VHS. Look at this LED Funkorama. If you want to get any of this cool stuff, then you just have to contact. Maki here and he'll hook you up. Classic apes there. Oh, Labyrinth board game. Look how cool this is. This is one of my favorite movies. Wow, that was awesome. What? Star Trek Next Gen. Skinny Riker. Not as fun as Fat Riker. This dude let me play a little bit of Panic Restaurant, a really rare NES game. That was very nice of him, very cool. Death in the Family collection. Oh, I love these oversized Marvel comic books. Collect them whenever I can. Really nice selection of games. 6 for 20, excellent deal. Unfortunately, I had most of them. <laughs> nice Iron Man figures there. What? More Maiden again? A reaction figure? Kinda cool though. And Laurel and Hardy. Whoa! This is this weird kiss thing. Marvel kiss crossover. Printed in real kiss blood, kids. VHS is not dead. Totally agreed. Look at this awesome selection. This guy always has a cool bunch of. What the heck is this thing? Karate Cop. 
Now that's a Chuck I know. The Panic Restaurant dude also had this awesome NES. There's 10 games for 100 bucks. That's pretty damn good. What Widget by Atlas. Wow, it's a rare game. And this little store is owned by Ken. He has tons of cool 80s toys and stuff. If you want to check him out when you come here, really good deals. He had those awesome Cloud City fighters I showed you earlier, as well as the Mr. T, even this T2 little figure. Nice. Dick Tracy, this guy gets no respect. Lots of cool robots here, and mech. But what I really like is a Scotty action figure, the world's most pessimistic Scotsman. I can't change the laws of physics. I've got to have 30 minutes. This thing was hilarious in the 70s and 80s, not so much now. Everybody used to have these guys, we used to throw them off the roof of our houses. Overpriced seller alert, overpriced seller alert. Oh my goodness, Alan Quartermain, Lost City of Gold, Cannon Cheese. Power Rangers, my favorites. Titanus, that carrier Zord, how cool is that thing? Austin St. John, Sun, Red Ranger. Yeah, yeah. Tons and tons of wrestling merch at these events. Uh, the Vancouver wrestling community is really uh, out in force. You can get so much cool merch. If you're into wrestling, this is definitely the places to come for that. Oogie Boogie! Such cool cosplay. Little Jack there following him. Man thing. Ah, Deep Space Nine, my favorite. It's trading cards. It's cool. Friday the 13th. This guy really likes Friday the 13th. Ooh, not me on Elm Street. Check out this Freddy. Pretty cool. And he has this rubbish band from Return of the Jedi. I really hate that blue elephant thing. <laughs> That'll be on the stars, Buckaroo Bonsai, such a freaking cool movie. What is this? Ah, Snot Girl. This is by Brian Lee O'Malley, the creator of Scott Pilgrim. I haven't checked this out really, definitely got it. And yeah, you can buy the generic German Nazi soldier from Raiders of the Lost Ark and watch his face melt, I guess. Cool. Mystery bags here, Andre the Giant mystery bag. Ooh, Willy Boba Fett, Willy Cthulhu. Infinity Gauntlet. Ah, I want to get that thing. And that about wraps it up. Let me just show you this poster I picked up. I got that Terence Hill classic <laughs> Super Fuzz, also with Ernest Bognan. Love this movie, it is super stupid. And that's it. Thanks for joining me, Bastish B at 64K. I hope you enjoyed this little comic book excursion. It was really fun. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you could like and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. And I'm heading back to... Actually, I don't have a car anymore, so... I guess I've got a three and a half hour walk back home. 